my fear of survival, my, my fight or flight situation, which we all have. That's where our fear comes from. We want to survive or it's fight or flight, but it is all fear in one's life that we all have to deal with even if we're not conscious of that concept of our fear of survival or fight or flight. I have been looking at this and relating it to my life and I've looked back over the years of how I dealt with my fear of survival in life. The way I have dealt with my fear of, well, one of the ways I've dealt with my fear of survival is that I have rode my fear like a wave. I have jumped on my fear and ridden it in a way where I took everything on. I become fearless. I acted in ways where I showed myself I could overcome my fear by going against my fear all the time. If I was scared, that was a green light to act, not a red light to come back. So all my life, I've acted out of this fear of survival by acting against it all the time. That's how I've coped with my fear of survival. I, I did it when I was a, a criminal, I did it when I wasn't a criminal as far as acting against the fear to take massive risks in, in crime, in robberies, in situations where it was very scary. And when I wasn't acting like that in my like normal life when I wasn't doing criminal behaviour, I would I would use aggression with my fear to deal with my fear. Like, I realised that the aggression that I used to, to manage my fear with other people, I, I married that up to the struggles that I had with intimacy and the fear of intimacy that I had. I was, I was so scared of intimacy and getting close to somebody. The other fears that I had in my life, I could deal with those fears because I could act in ways where I could overcome those fears by acting against those fears. But when it come to intimate, say, relationships, I couldn't do that. And with intimacy, there's always fear being vulnerable. So the way I used to deal with that fear of vulnerability was I would shut down or I would get angry or blame my partner or blame other people because of my fear of vulnerability that I had and I couldn't deal with that in intimacy. And to get comfortable with our vulnerability, we've got to understand the fear of that intimacy within ourselves. It's very scary to show people our deep and sides to us that we don't show other people. It's, it's very scary to reveal who we truly are within. Like we just don't show that stuff every day. So that becomes scary when you go into intimacy because it's revealing that stuff that is required, well it is through my window, to be intimate and to get close and to love. Because if you're, if you're not like that, then you may not be able to get close to other people if you're if you don't become vulnerable where you need to be vulnerable to get love and share yourself with somebody. When I used to get close to people, I used to have this thing that used to shut down over me. 
and I couldn't pinpoint it. And I, I'd want to control situations. I would want to um, end relationships from there. I would want to control relationships from there. I'd want to control other people. I would blame people for this stuff. And, and before I realised I would shut down because of my inability to deal with my, my fears and closeness, I used to get angry. And that's how I used to deal with my fears of getting close to somebody. So I, I realised from looking at my fears of survival, how that come over into my intimate relationships and that's why I couldn't get close to people is because I was so petrified <coughs> of showing who I was and I was so petrified like to cope with the fear that it takes to do that you've got to be very courageous to do that but you've got to be able to handle the fear when that comes up and that's only if you see this stuff like I didn't see this stuff for years it was only this afternoon that I realized and I married my fear of survival and looked at that stuff and how I was managing that and how I cope with that my fight and flight situation and as I said I come over to this <clears throat> so a lot of guys I know they do struggle with this this intimacy and this vulnerability and the fear that comes up when they try to get vulnerable, you know, like, you know, you can get really hurt in vulnerability and you can shut down and you can be really scared in vulnerability. And, but you've got to be scared in vulnerability to enjoy it. You've got to be, you've, you've got to, you've got to be open enough and trusting enough to meet people on this deep level to get what we truly want, and that's love. And if we're not aware of this stuff, we might just come to a level where we either shut down or we start blaming people for our, our own fears towards love and intimacy, and we might never ever get over that. And the only way to get over it, if somebody can relate to this, is to be aware of it and to seek some support and get some help. Go and talk to a counsellor about it. Leave a comment if you can relate to this uh, <clears throat> in the comments on YouTube about it. I'd be happy to discuss my experience with intimacy and, and my struggles in it. But I think timing's a big thing. Like when, you know, when the student's ready, the teacher appears. And I'm not saying I'm a teacher. I'm only relaying what come to me with my, my fears in life and how I related it to my intimacy and, my, and the way I cope with intimacy. And I couldn't get to the other side of it. Well, not as yet anyway. Maybe there's still hope for this old bastard, you know. Um, so... Anyway, a bit of food for thought about fear and intimacy. And if you are struggling, geez, I highly recommend talking about it and sticking with it, you know, because I know a lot of guys that struggle with this stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And, you know, we're all worthy of love, eh? Like, we're all worthy of love. Every single one of us is worthy of love. And it's so scary because of this vulnerability and I can relate to it but if we don't get a handle on our fears how can we get to it like how do we get to it if we can't understand that <clears throat> it's our fears that stop us it's our fears that shut us down it's our fears that we blame people for it. It's our fears that we get angry with it. It's our fears that we get frustrated with it. <clears throat> and, all, and it's all normal, but admitting it and working towards getting through our fears with a partner or somebody you love and you care for, 
to get to the other side of getting comfortable with your own vulnerability and and the intimacy that's in that and it's beautiful um it's well worth being um being aware of this stuff so you take care and have a great day <coughs> and um look after yourself and i'll see you at my next video you look after yourself take care